Council at this very unique and historic gathering. Please allow me to extend my warm welcome to all of you here in Nepal and this one of the most important tourist destination of Nepal, the Saura. I express my sincere thanks to the International Ranger nearly 24% of its total land mass, over one third of our population is engaged in the management environment for hosting the event. The poaching and the illegal trade of wildlife and forest products is expanding at transnational level and posing a challenge to law enforcement authorities. The adverse effects of climate change, particularly climate-induced disaster, has devastating effects to all species, ecosystem, and biodiversity at large. The government of Nepal has announced Visit Nepal 2020, and therefore, I ask you all to enjoy Nepali nature and culture and recommend your family and friends to visit Nepal in 2020 to experience a lifetime adventure. There are so many national parks and there are so many historic places, as all of you know, birthplace of Lord Buddha, Lumini, and highest peak of the world, Sagarmatha, or lies in Nepal. Finally, I wish a grand success of this ninth World Ranger Congress, organize this event, and the Ministry of Forest and Environment for hosting this event and inviting me as the chief guest to address this auspicious gathering. Distinguished participants, I am delighted to inform this imminent gathering that passes through community forestry. We are making concerted efforts on conservation of the biological diversity to a large extent contributed to conserve biodiversity by directly involving local communities. Very historic and tremendous political changes and created an atmosphere of political stability. I think that you may have well informed about the very unique and homegrown peace process and uh, Constitutional Assembly and the Declaration of the Federal Democratic Republic. All these tremendous political changes have created a very conducive and favorable atmosphere for the political stability, economic development and prosperity of this country. One of the preconditions for attaining prosperity and happiness is people live in harmony with nature. Nature is our life and lifeline. We cannot live without nature, therefore we do not have a choice. We must save nature ourselves and to create an atmosphere for our future generation. Nepal has a long history of forest and biodiversity conservation. Community forestry program and protected area management system in Nepal are few successful examples in nature conservation that we can showcase to the international community. Thus, a way forward for future course of action for the days ahead. I also believe that it is high time for us to work collectively in saving Mother Earth for generation to come. Let's do not harm to nature, but use the nature wisely to that people can protect nature and nature protect people. Your kind attention, I wish 
a very pleasant, fruitful, and joyful stay here in Nepal. Thank you very much. I am through various institutional arrangements to act jointly at the global, regional, and national level. We have enhanced our conservation initiative by strengthening cooperation with neighboring countries and forming South Asia Wildlife Enforcement Network for a coordinated regional response to combat illegal wildlife poaching and trafficking. Despite this fact, forest and biodiversity conservation has been facing a number of threats and challenges the day. As population grow around the globe, physical infrastructure and rapid economic development has been taking place, leading to putting pressure on forest and biological resources. While development is a pressing need, striking a balance between conservation and development is challenging. Increasing trend of human wildlife conflict is another challenge posing a serious threat to coexistence between people and nature. This is the stark reality on the ground which needs serious consideration at national, regional and global level. Environmental of climate change has been increasingly realized which has severe implications on ecological resilience and community livelihood. We are facing in forest and biodiversity conservation. I request you all participants, rangers, experts, managers, researchers and policy makers to share, share your noble experience, best practices and resources resources, outcomes, and contribute to our mission of nature. Conservation, no matter which nationality you are, where you work, and what position you hold, we need to invest on developing the capacity of our frontline staff members and indigenous and local communities in resource conservation and getting clear and equitable benefit from the use of biological resources on which that livelihood depends. In doing so, we need adequate financial resources. Congress will provide a platform for rangers and conservationists to share that knowledge, create network and partnership and build capacity through a cross-pollination of ideas technique and best practice of conservation initiatives that have been tested across the globe.